Okay, today I am working uh, with a couple of these 12 volt fans that I bought from a local electronics salvage shop. Uh, about four and three quarter inches slash 120 millimeters. You can kind of see how big they are with my hand there beside it. 12 volt fans. I bought these for six bucks a piece uh, to um, attach to a small portable propane heater to help um, blow the heat around a little bit while camping, RVing, or using the heater in my garage. Uh, when it's cold out. So uh, anyway, kind of cool fans. Uh, I'm gonna make a small enclosure for them that can you kind of you know move the fan around a little bit and uh, blow the heat around. Um, so what I've got set up here today is uh, a setup that instead of uh, powering the fan by 12 volts, which by the way is great because it can just connect to any automotive uh, power supply. Um, today I have it set up here uh, to take power from a 5 volt power source. And so that's what I have the bench uh, supply here set up. I have it set up for 5 volts and um, the max current uh, set up to 3 amps. Um, this is a small um, boost converter that will basically take a voltage on the input and then boost it uh, to a specified output voltage. Uh, which is adjusted using this uh, potentiometer here. So pretty cool little widget. Uh, just give you a quick uh, view. You can pause that to see what it is, um, kind of the specs and whatnot. Bought these from Amazon in a five pack, but they're good for this kind of project. Uh, and here is uh, here's a couple of USB power packs. This is the power pack that I really like. One of these bigger power packs has this uh, set of specs on it. It's basically a 12 amp hour lithium-ion battery. It's pretty cool. Here's a little tiny one, um, 2 amp hour. Basically the idea today is to hook this all up and watch the current draw uh, at uh, from the bench supply and then uh, also just for, for curiosity's sake watch the current draw of the motor um, on this little uh, volt and ammeter widget I also bought from Amazon. So anyway that's the idea. We got the uh, fan hooked up to the output of the uh, boost converter. The input of the boost converter is connected to the benchtop power supply. The benchtop power supply is configured to look just like one of these lithium-ion battery packs and so by watching uh, what happens at the benchtop power supply I'll be able to see what will be happening to this battery pack and make sure um, everything's working as expected and also calculate how long one of these battery packs will last when I'm using the fan on the battery pack remotely you know somewhere in the wilds or in my garage okay alright so let's go ahead and uh, attach the input power to the um, bench supply okay so this is important we can see that right here Without turning anything on, see the fan is still turned off. Uh, I have a switch here to turn it on and off. The system is drawing 27 milliamps, and that is basically coming out of this uh, boost converter. So this boost converter, without having any load on it, is drawing 27 milliamps with 5 volt input. Okay, so that's important because that kind of shows an inefficiency, if you will of the system when nothing's happening. So if this thing's plugged in without a switch between this thing and the battery that's how much it's taking. That's important to know. Um, when I... oh and uh, we can also take a look at the volt and ammeter. No current being drawn from the fan right now. That's cool because it's not turned on. And the 12 volts is showing that the boost converter is configured for 12 volt output. So cool. So now we have everything all set up. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the fan and I'm going to watch the benchtop power supply when I hit the switch. So cool. Now the fan is going. You can see that there probably here in the video. So I'll get that away from there. So we saw that for a split second it went right up to the 3 amp limit. Um, but then as it's running it's running at just, you know, a little under half an amp there with the single fan running. 
okay so that's important to know that's what the battery is going to see the battery is going to see that inrush of uh, you know three amps uh, from from the uh, boost converter and the fan and um, and then once it's all up and running uh, it's going to see about half an amp current draw now if we come over here to this little guy we still see it's at 12 volts and we can see that the fan is drawing 160 milliamp so this is important you know it's important to know that uh, the difference between just this fan running and the boost converter and the whole system um, it's uh, important to know so you can calculate uh, how much is going to be drawn from the battery and with a battery capacity of a certain number of amps uh, how long the battery will last so that's kind of cool all right Thanks for watching.